guys, so I'm actually at the beach and um, yeah, so I filmed this video at home. I didn't do an intro because I wanted to look cute for the intro, but here we are, not looking cute at the beach. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's basically a flip through of my first bullet journal, which I made all the pages for. It's not the end of July, so it's not like finished yet, but I did make all the pages for it, so I figured I'd just go ahead and do this video. Um, I hope you like it. If you do, make sure to like and subscribe and be expecting some beach vlogs. Yeah. All right, let's just start on the flip through. First off, this is my bullet journal. Um, it's by the brand Paper Rage. I just got it off of Amazon. And my first page just says bullet journal number one, December 2019 through July 2020. So I messed up on this. It looks disgusting, but it is my second semester of college. So I just wanted to write that there. And this is the first page I ever made. So I have some stamps. Um, yeah, I just thought it was really cute to do all my food and like a good thing with my graphs down here. And this is like habits, notes, you know. I was really just wanting to jump into it at this point. And this week is pretty similar. This is me trying out new pins. Yeah. So there's my, oh, our little, I love those little lights. I think they're so cute. Then this is my 2020 calendar overview. And of course I messed up because how can you not mess this page up? But yeah, it's just, I put in some birthdays and stuff. And then let's start at January. So I did a one page calendar for January and tried to do some little decorations. You know, it's cute. There's a habit tracker right here that I actually did finish. I usually am not very good at habit trackers, if we're being honest. Some to do. So basically why this looks like this is because on my first day of classes this semester, it rained and I ruined my bullet journal. Um, first thing. <laughs> so this is like my first week. Once again, I just tried to put in some little decorations. This is like a sleep chart. I actually didn't end up liking this layout because the boxes are so different in sizes. I did like this food thing I did on the side. This is some motivational quotes. I thought that was so cute at the time. I still think it's cute, but it's not really like motivational quotes, I guess. It's more like just aesthetic. And then some goals 2020, which I redid this journal, this in my new bullet journal, just because I really like this page. Brain dump. Just gonna skip past that because I don't want you guys to read it all. So this is my semester overview. These are all the classes, and this is just like random due dates and stuff for everything. This is some finances that I didn't really finish. This is where it like completely bled through, like completely. And then this is like some songs I liked in January. This is my second week of January. Just a cute little layout. I didn't get any uh, mini charts in this. There's a sleep chart in the rain, of course. I really didn't like this layout. It felt overwhelming, but it was like my first week of classes. So there was a lot to do. This is stuff I wanted to know about, just like random stuff to research. And this is needs and wants. Here's this layout again. That sun is so cute. I really did like the sunshine theme. Thinking about bringing that white. No, I did bring that back for May, I guess. So I can't bring it back for September. <laughs> but yeah, and so this at the bottom is my food. Um, what I ate in a day, in case y'all were curious. All right, so then we have the last week of January. This theme is also so cute. It's stars. Here's a sleep and mood tracker. This little notes. I actually ended up using this theme for a really long time because this one was my favorite. It was the most functional for me. Um, <clears throat> and then January reflections. And we're moving on to February. So I have these little tab stickers that I got for each month that I think was really helpful. This is like a monthly overview. I finally did my two pages. I think it turned out really well. This one is so pretty if you ask me. Then I have a mood tracker that I didn't end up filling up. Habit tracker that I might have finished, but maybe not. <laughs> so yeah, I am not the best at doing those trackers, but I do use this as an agenda. So I did this layout again. This one was a little bit better just because it was more colorful and stuff and more bold. This is my 30 days of health challenge that I was really determined to finish and I absolutely did not. <laughs> I really liked this layout though. Here I'm counting, um, let's see, workout minutes is the bar. The carbs per day is 
the oh wait no the carbs is the bar and the workout minutes is the line water i drank a gallon of water uh for 15 days of february and then my energy and sleep so energy is i'm thinking energy is the bar and sleep is the line but i don't really remember workout plans playlists and then this week i really like this layout too it's really cute got some good things some trackers a to-do list my steps at the bottom here a little quote up here and then this is that layout that i continued to do for a while so this is my food this is our weekly with steps notes and then this is a sleep tracker and this is a ketosis tracker here's another like little health layout that i really liked but i didn't really do it was like a reflection of the day, the workout you did, the sleep you got, how many um, gallons of water, like four would be one gallon, the food, yeah. And then here's another little weekly layout. I tried to do this like my first week, but it didn't really turn out as well. I didn't like it because the boxes were uneven. Have my food and good vibes, a to-do list, sleep tracker, monthly overview, and a little quote. Now these are my classes, um, starting off on like, you know, little overview. I accidentally did this page here, it was not meant to be here. <laughs> Physics, and then February Reflections. We have March, our little clover themed month. This is my monthly overview. This is like an ideal week layout and some habit trackers I didn't finish. Prayers and manifestations. <laughs> And this weekly layout, we got our food, of course. I didn't even put steps in this week. Well, I didn't even realize that. To do. Trackers. This is ketosis. This is sleep. And this was spring break, so I wanted to change up the theme a little bit. You can see I have my three trackers. I kind of took a break a little bit this week because I didn't want to stress myself out as much. But I did do a little cute layout. YouTube videos I want to do. How many views my videos got within the first week. You know, here's this layout again. This is starting, I think. So this is actually second week of spring break because of COVID. And then I was like, girl, you got to get your life together or else you're going to be depressed at home. So I developed a meal plan. I tracked my exercise again, as well as um, grams of carbs I ate. This is energy and sleep. Um, water, energy and water, I guess. So yeah, um, I started all that. Then I started this little layout that I also really like. The weekends are shorter, but during the week you have a longer, like more space to do things. Um, still had space to do my trackers, some thankful things, some notes. This is my first week of online school. And then I did a half a week just because um, that was half a week of March. And some March reflections. Then April, probably my best month for bullet journaling, if we're being honest. <clears throat> so my theme was planets. Got my little tag. So cute. So this month was really colorful, and I really tried hard to make it pretty. It's a little monthly overview. Some habits that I actually really filled out. I didn't do the brain dump, but I did the prayers. I was really proud of my habit tracker this month. I really developed really good trackers i exercise every day read my bible every day the keto every day floss every day except one and yeah here's my health i the exercise minutes you can tell i exercise every single day some days more than others ketosis is the bar water is the um line sleep is the bar energy is the line so i really filled this one out i really like these health things then this was supposed to be like journaling prompts that I didn't do because I'm not the best at journaling, which is okay. And then the first half week of April, I'm not going to go through these in too much detail because they're pretty much all the same except a little bit different color themed. I just think they're really pretty this month. And obviously I had a lot to do, <laughs> um, but I did really well at marking everything off and, you know, being organized. April reflections and then we're on to May. So May is whenever school ended and I kind of started to get less organized with my bullet journal. So this is pretty, I think. Got my prayers and my habits that I didn't really do. 
my health, obviously I fell off right after school ended. And this was supposed to be like a line a day. This is just a little cute quote. And then this is my first week. And I think this was all, yeah, so that was my last exam. So that's, it was kind of a rough time. So after that, I, I did do some weeklies. Okay, so there's a summer bucket list, a playlist that I didn't finish. A weekly overview. This one's a lot similar to my spring break one. This one, I still love this little theme. I tried to do food, some trackers. I was trying to be on it, but I was honestly not having a great time. So then I made my weekly on one page. On the other page, I tried to do some trackers. Didn't really work out. Foods I liked. Um, and then made reflections that I also never did because I was not very happy. In June, so June is where it gets a little odd because I have my monthly overview. And my prayers and habits that I didn't do at all. <laughs> And then basically, I'm not going to show that because that's my finances. I just did, um, see, why am I so unmotivated? I didn't do any weekly layouts. I just tried to fill it up with things that I wanted to track that sometimes I didn't even do really well with. Quote, outfits. I really just wanted to like get, trying to pull myself out of like a little bit of depression, honestly. Some playlists. And then I did a little bit of June Reflections. And I was supposed to write down memories. Never did that. Now let's get to July, my last month. So here's to the ones who dream. Because I love that song off of La La Land. And I said, and July. Just because, ha, oh, I'm so funny. I really like the theme for July. I think it looks almost vintage. I just think it's cute. So here's my habits that I haven't done. Um, this is prayers. I haven't really done that either. I did put some fireworks at the bottom just to kind of spice up the pages. Now, this month, I have tried to work a little bit more on my weekly spreads. And it's basically the same as that one in May, except I moved it down. This is good vibes, a song I like, and some memories, sleep tracker, and then what I'm supposed to be focusing on for the week. So that's, like, really helped me kind of bring it all in and just kind of focus on that. Because with work, it's not... It's hard to focus on like being healthy and doing things that make me super happy whenever I'm working, you know, eight to 16 hours a day. Memories, food, good vibes, sleeper. It's kind of the same thing. Put my steps, I actually put my steps on this week twice on some of the things, so that's fun. This is this week, so you, you can see some stuff I need to do. My focus is eating good and being organized and some positive things. And this is next week's pretty much the same i haven't decided any focus or anything this is the week after that whenever i come back from the beach i already have some things to do and then this is like a meal outline i didn't want to say plan because i don't want to follow it exactly it's just like you know if i'm like thinking like what can i eat or if i start developing bad habits again i can just kind of look at that this is for my apartment i've started making some list of things that i need to pack i've marked off some things that i already have then I just wrote an acrostic of things that I think are good about myself. Um, that's just a little positive exercise. And then I'll write some July reflections right here. And that's actually the end of my entire first bullet journal. Yep.